This is an entity known as the Director, an entity that you can find on a game called Interliminal on Roblox. There is a lot of cool information about this entity that I'm going to be sharing with you today, so sit back, relax, and let's get into some facts, alright? Oh, yo, yo, look, 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 look. Brother, brother, brother. Hi. Open the door, open the door, open the door. <laughs> Fact number one. So as you guys already know, the entity's official name is the director, like I told you, right? But he also has another name, his quote unquote real name, I guess. It's Hubert. Yeah, I know it's not very the most intimidating name, but yeah. Hubert. I think I'll call him the director. It's a little bit more spooky and I can actually be scared of the director. I don't know if I can be scared of Herbert. Fact number two. Purple, purple, purple. Why is his screen purple? Well, I didn't know, but I just asked the person who created the game, Evans, a good friend of mine, and well, uh, it will really just because it's his favorite color. He just likes the color purple, so he designed him to make him purple. There's no deeper meaning of like color theory or whatnot. It's purple just because the creator liked the color purple, and I think that's pretty goddamn valid. You know, I'll take that. People ask why my cow's pink. I like pink, so I made my cow pink. You know, I understand. I I can empathize to that. I I know what he's going through. You know, fact number three. Guys, we can't make fun of the director anymore. He's actually disabled. Not mentally, like myself, but physically. The director, or Herbert, can literally not hear. He doesn't have the ability to hear. He doesn't have eyesight. I mean, ear sight. He can't hear, okay? But he does use his sight. So you can make as much noise as you want in the level. It doesn't really matter. As long as he doesn't see you, you're basically fine. So if you really want to, you can literally chase behind him and he will not hear you. Fall around the map. As long as he doesn't turn around, you're a-okay. Fact number four. When you're in game, sometimes you will notice furniture clipping through walls, the ground, or things that just don't seem normal and it feels kind of like out of this world. Well, that isn't actually a glitch. It's actually meant to be in the game, and Herbert is the one causing it. Apparently, from what I've been told, the director, also known as Herbert, has a direct connection to the game. He's basically the mastermind behind the whole game, and is controlling the world. When you're playing the game, sometimes you'll notice the use of red light, and when the red color is present, you'll notice stuff clipping through walls or whatnot, and stuff just not looking as right. And a lot of people in the community are kind of theorizing when the lights are red, it kind of means the director is losing control of manipulating the world so stuff is starting to break and fall apart and that's why the use of red light means stuff failing or being broken and honestly i think that's some phenomenal storytelling and i'm very impressed what the devs are doing with that fact number five there's a whole bunch of entities in this game but where did they come from well it came from the director like i said he's the main baddie and he's the guy behind the camera literally so the director created every single unique entity you find in the game for a different tv show movie or or whatnot. He's directing the shows, he's creating the monsters, he's creating the characters, he's creating your personal nightmare in this never-ending story. As we go through these, it kind of makes more sense why he's called the director. It really brings the whole story together. Trust me, guys, every single fact is like a different piece of the puzzle. When you have it all together, the whole story just makes perfect sense. That's why you gotta watch to the end and like the video, and maybe even subscribe. I wouldn't mind. Fact number 60, Wixie. Let's talk about the skin stealers now. If you're making a movie, it's kind of hard to make a monster monster movie when you have a monster but no one to chase. So the director actually found a way to fix that. Instead of getting real humans who would probably run away after sight of a real monster, he just basically created a monster to get chased by the monsters. The skin stealers, even without a victim, still look very human, so you could probably make a convincing, scary horror movie with the skin stealers as the actors and get Mr. Uh, Bobby Spooky Man 37 to chase them around the halls. It would probably make some pretty good footage, right? And that's why the skin stealers are in this game. There's actually a story behind it. It makes sense and I really do like that. Fact number seven. Our friend the director can change forms. He will not always be the same guy you've seen last time. It's unsure if he has shape-shifting abilities, but I would probably say it's safe to assume. It does seem like he has godlike powers on this whole realm, so it would make sense I could change himself or what he appears to be to fit whatever given need he needs. Just look how dramatically he changes appearance wise from stage one to stage two. It's kind of mind boggling. Fact number eight. I have some crazy insider knowledge that I'm about to expose in this video. Evans, if you're watching this, I love your game. I'm about to do a massive bombshell though. The director is basically guaranteed to return in chapter three. 
even though it seemed like he died at the end of chapter 2. Which does make perfect sense, he is the main bad guy of this whole game, it wouldn't make sense for him just not to be here. Let me defend myself, I don't really think this is like a massive leak, I think everyone knows that he's returning for episode 3, it wouldn't make sense for the main bad guy to be completely missing from the next episode. So Evs, I hope we're still friends even though I did this massive expose, sorry. Number 9. This fact is what triggers me and what makes me absolutely despise the first level in this game we have to face this guy mr director it triggers me and uh here's why so as any good villain he doesn't really play by the rules he doesn't really play nicely he's really really annoying in the first real level there are tablets scattered around the map which we have to do like a little puzzle on to open the door and to escape to the next level and well our friend herbert there puppy guards them and he patrols very very closely to them i personally find it very annoying and i it's one of my least favorite levels i love the whole game but that level is a little frustrating for me but maybe i'm just bad who knows? Number 10. Herbert is the god of this world. We are intruding into his world. Everything you can see, touch, feel is his creation. The only thing that Herbert does not have control over is the player's choices. Yes, you have free will in this game. In theory, your character could do anything he wants. He's the only thing that isn't under control of Herbert. You're basically like a virus in his world that's trying to destroy his world. So he's trying to destroy you, which does kind of make sense. If you had something in your body that was changing things, you can control it. You'd probably want to get rid of it. And Herbert is no exception. He wants to get you out of town. Fact number 11. The director can actually kill you in two separate levels. First is episode one, level zero, the first introduction of this lovely friend. Then all the way into chapter two in the channel surfing level. Even though the director isn't a threat in every single level, it doesn't mean that he's still not there. He's always watching you and he can actually be seen in four other levels as well. You'll first see him in the intermission, then obvious in level zero, then episode one, the finale, then back and again in episode two, the channel surfing scene. And maybe if you're a player who keeps their eyes out long enough, you might see him lurking in the shadows, stalking you, watching you, looking you through the cameras. You're never safe in this game, never. How does that make you feel? Fact number 12. The director has been doing some serious cardio and he's definitely been putting the work and been training his butt off. It may not look like it, but the director can run. And he can actually run faster than you. It's not that big of a difference, but for every stud you move, he can move approximately 1.2 studs. Which basically means he's 20% faster than you. So just don't race him, you're gonna lose. Everyone's favorite unlucky number, 13. And this fact is for all the audiophiles watching this. When the director finally finds you, he's gonna be playing this sound. <laughs> Fact number 14. It's very obvious when you first see the director, he's quite tall, like very tall, unhumanly tall. Well, he's not human, so it should be unhuman. And it's probably safe to assume he's at least seven foot tall. He's actually so tall, in fact, that he can't actually fit through the doorway. So if you see him go through a doorway, his head will actually clip through the ceiling. And probably my least favorite number, 15. If you're one of the unlucky players to actually get caught by the director, he's gonna start chasing you, right? But unlike other monsters in other games, the chase will literally never end. His AI will literally chase you through the entire map until you're dead or he physically can't get you. So if you try to run away, good luck. And now fact number 16, like how I mentioned in the last fact, if he sees you, he's going to be chasing you through the entire map without stopping. But there's actually one spot on the map where you're completely safe. So if he ever does start chasing you, you need to run back to the spawn because that's the only place in the map where he's not allowed to go. And there's like kind of like an invisible wall at the doorway, and it's probably the best way to actually get some good shots of him. And from my personal experience, I believe this is the only place in the entire map where you can go to to be safe from this entity. And it's the only way not to get killed by him and so that's a director if you guys learned something new today make sure you guys smack the like button and check out this video next it's a video about the skinwalkers from a pure phobia trust me guys you'll learn some pretty cool stuff about it the video is insane see ya bye